Okay, so um, this one's kind of interesting. Really, we just need to solve for x on these series of 5a. Um, we're going to be utilizing distribution properties. So really, all we need to do is solve for x. So I need to, whoops, come on, come back here. Where am I? There we go. I need to distribute that 1.25 to each term. So 1.25, if I put that in my calculator, 1.25 times 4 gives me 5x. 1.25 times 10 gives me minus 12.5. That's equal to 7.5. I'm going to add 12.5 to both sides. This is going to become 5x is equal to 7.5 plus 12.5 is going to give me 20. Divide by four, that or divide by five, that gives me four. So that gives me my answer choice D. Uh, next question is the same way. We're all we're doing is we're solving for M. Um, be careful, that's a negative one. So I need to distribute that negative one to both terms. So this becomes negative six M minus eight. It's equal to I need to distribute that four. So four times seventeen is sixty-eight. And then four times m becomes minus four m. We're now going to uh, balance our equation and we're gonna move like terms to each side. So I'm gonna add six m. You could have added four m instead. That would have been completely valid as well. Negative eight is equal to 68. Um, negative four plus six will give me positive two m. I'm going to minus 68. That's going to become negative 76. And that's going to be equal to 2m divided by 2. That gives me m is equal to negative 38. So you would have bubbled negative 38 into the calculator. Uh, next question, same thing. So we're doing the same thing here. Um, I'm going to distribute. So four times 0.5 gives me two n uh, minus 12. That's gonna be n, distribute that. 0.25 times 12 gives me minus three and then plus two n. Combine like terms, that becomes three n minus three. Well, it's negative 12. 2n. I'm going to subtract 2n. The reason I do the 2 is because it'll keep my n positive and it just makes my life easier. And that becomes 12, negative 12 is equal to n minus 3. Add 3. Add 3. That's become negative 9 is equal to n. So my answer choice is G. Same thing here. Combining like terms, we've got a distribution here. So this is going to become 34x plus 95 is equal to 14 times 3 is 42x. 3 times 9 is 27. Combine like terms. 95 is equal to 42 minus 34 is 8x plus 27 minus 27 minus 27 8x 95 minus 27 gives me 68 divided by 8 gives me x is equal to 8.5 um uh, just as a side note if you wanted to check your answers you could plug that back in for x so you would say 34 times 8.5 plus 95, and then it's equal to 3 times 14 times 8.5 minus 9. And if you combine these and solve, that should give you whatever value, that should give you A is equal to A. Whatever, whatever the sum is here and whatever that sum ends up being, that should give you equivalent statement on each side. I'm going to go over the next question in the next video because I don't want it to get too long. 